Hello, today we are going to see the topic microbial growth and its phases. So, what is growth is defined as a increase in cellular constitution which leads to a rise in cell number. So, the cell number keep on multiplying so it leads to the growth. So, microorganisms are reproduced by either binary fission or budding. So, the cells copy their DNA almost continuously and divide again and again by the process called binary fission. So, actually binary fission is a form of asexual reproduction in single celled organism by which only one cell divides into two cells of the same size. So, this is a diagrammatic representation where cell elongates and the DNA is replicated in the outer cell wall and plasma membrane. Then cell wall and plasma membrane is also begin to divide through the process of asexual reproduction and the cross wall forms completely around the divided DNA where cell wall and plasma membrane get separated and the cells were also separated into two. So, one cell is divided into two cells of the same size. So, growth curve. So, increase in cell number or growth in population is the importance of growth curve. Bacteria can be grown or cultivated in the liquid medium in closed system. So, this is termed as batch culture. In this method, no fresh medium is added. Hence, with time, mutant concentration decreases and an increase in waste as bacteria are reproduced by binary fission. The growth can be plotted as the logarithm of number of viable cells versus the time of incubation we have given. So, there are mainly four phases of growth where lag phase, log phase, stationary phase and the final death phase. So, this is the graph representation where lag phase is the starting phase and log or exponential growth phase where uh, the microorganism cell number gets grow and stationary phase the growth is constant in the stationary phase. So, after a constant uh, stable time it just uh, declined the growth uh, that is the death or decline phase. Lag phase as the cells are introduced into the new medium no immediate increase in cell number occurs. So in this phase the cells are undergoing a period of metabolic activity which involving the synthesis of enzymes that is required for the dividing. So this phase is very considerably in length depending on the nature of the medium and the microorganism we use to grow. The cells may be old and depleted of ATP and essential cofactors and ribosomes must be synthesized before growth can begin. So the microorganism requires time to recover and vigorously growing cultures and fresh medium are used for the lag phase to be short. Coming to log phase, so in this phase cell starts dividing in logarithmic way. It is also called as exponential phase. Cellular reproduction is high during this period. So the cells are most actively metabolically The cells are active metabolically and the population is most uniform during this phase. Cells are growing and dividing where the cell number also get increased. So stationary phase, it is uh, bacteria that produce secondary metabolites that occurs in the stationary phase. So starving bacterial frequency produces a variety of starvation proteins which make the cells much more resistant to damage. In death phase, there is a decline in number of viable cells. This phase is also like the log phase, but the cell number is declining where in log phase cell number is uh, increasing.
the cell said to be dead if it no, does not revive itself and reproduce when incubated again in the fresh medium so in this phase the life cells decreases thank you